You have had your tea, the doings of Hamish and Dougal. Today, there's something about Mrs. Nochte. Dougal! Hamish, uh, you'll have had your tea. Well, uh, uh, By the way, don't you normally knock at the door before coming in? Well, we are old friends. Oh, well, you may as well stay now that you're in. <laughs> oh. No, 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 no. No, no, don't let me interrupt you. Uh, I can see you're busy uh, listening to your album of vintage toilet flushes. Well, what else would I be doing in the lavatory? Well, you might be catching up with some paperwork. Well, I'm not. Why do you have a zipper on your kilt? It's not on my kilt. <laughs> OK. Hello! Let me in! Uh, hold on a minute, Mrs Nochte. Hamish and I are just in the lavatory together. <laughs> oh, shall I come back later? Oh, no. Stay away. What? It's not what you think. You mean it's not a perfectly innocent misunderstanding? <laughs> oh, get out of the way, woman. We're coming out. It's a bit late for that, if you ask. <laughs> there, you see, not a hair out of place. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, gentlemen, I'm in such a state. Pour the lady a dram, Dougal. Uh, she certainly looks in need of a stiff one. <laughs> I've just had this in the post. It's my Uncle Nab. What, in that wee envelope? <laughs> He's dead. I'm not surprised. <laughs> he couldn't breathe in there. This is a letter from his solicitor. He passed away last week. Oh, no, not the two of them. <laughs> Apparently, Uncle Nab left me his fortune in his will. It's come as a terrible shock. Oh, Mrs. Nochte, sit down here and marry me. <laughs> I'm not the sort of girl who marries the first man that asks her. Yeah, quite right, too. How about the second man? <laughs> I'm not that easy. I want to be wooed. You can be as wooed as you like with me, baby. <laughs> Dougal! Gentlemen, in the light of my good fortune, I'm sure you'll understand that I'm handing in my notice. But you're leaving us. But who's going to press my underpants? You can press your own underpants, and don't tell me you don't know how. <laughs> Mrs. Nochte, I respect your wishes. What? In fact, to celebrate your aforementioned good fortune, and for no other reason, why don't you come away with me to the Malcolm Rifkin Tea Rooms? <laughs> There we can share a pot of Maserati, then hitch up our kilts and dance cheek to cheek. Oh, I can almost see it now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> can I tempt you to a hobnob? Behave yourself. This is a respectable establishment. With tablecloths and those lovely potted palms. Yes, they were delicious. <laughs> oh, I love the ambience. <laughs> That's our tune. Time for dancing. You dance divinely. Thank you. Would you care to join me? <laughs> well, I can't dance and play the piano. <laughs> Good afternoon. Is everything to your satisfaction? I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> you rascal. Wait a minute. You're new. I haven't seen you in these parts. I'm extending my repertoire. <laughs> <laughs> That makes the two of us. Now, are you the one that ordered the crumpet? No, but 
Now you're here, I could nibble a little tart. <laughs> oh, you naughty boy. What about your girlfriend on the piano? Oh, she's not my girlfriend. That's merely a business arrangement. Uh, what's this, Hamish? Chatting up the waitress? Well, no, but it's a thought. Is it indeed? No, no, no. Oh, Mrs. Nocte, or may I call you Fiona? Very well, but I prefer you use my name. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> then Beyonce it is. Will there be anything else? I sincerely hope so. <laughs> now, could I have the bill, please? Certainly, and will you require the rest of the duck costume as well? <laughs> what? The duck costume you wore at the bill on a theme night at the public bath. Wait a minute. You're not a real waitress, are you? Take off that false beard. <laughs> Dougal! This waitress looks just like Dougal. It is me, you great Tumsy. Perhaps you can explain to Mrs. Nochte why you were chatting up a beautiful and highly talented young waitress <laughs> and expecting Mrs. N herself to pick up the tab. Your point being? Oh, look at you, you snake in the grass. I must get this zip fixed. <laughs> Aye. Oh, what kind of a man would take me out? Not for myself as a woman, but because of my great wealth. Good afternoon, everyone. Your lordship. What a surprise. Now, you tantalising young minx, how about a fresh pot of tea? I don't mind if I do. I was talking to the waitress. Listen, my dear, once I've got my hands on the old girl's money, how about me and you going for a high old time in Rio de Janeiro? Your lordship, that's Dougal. You mind your own business. <laughs> One pot of tea coming up. <laughs> I feel pretty, so pretty. Alone at last. Oh, misery me. This vast fortune is more trouble than it's worth. It's true what they say. Saddam had no weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> what use is that to me? Oh, cruel fate, when will it all end? Is that you, Mrs. Nocte? Yes. Keep it down, will you? <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I didn't see you there on top of my wardrobe. <laughs> You never do, Mrs. M. <laughs> oh, Mr. Dougal, it's so good to see you. You're the one who saved me from those unscrupulous gold diggers. When I saw you dressed up as that waitress, I said to myself, that's my kind of man. <laughs> and you're my kind of woman, Mrs. Nocte. Let us throw caution to the winds and hit the town. Oh, what are we waiting for? Just waiting for me to get out of this waitress costume. <laughs> oh, oh, that looks delicious. Oh, yes, the food here is always quite reliable. Mm -mm. <laughs> Oh, you sound as if you're enjoying that. Oh, oh yes, I really am. Oh, you're not faking it. No. No. Mm, mm, mm. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, 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 yes. Do you want fries with that? Hey, well, why not? The lady's paying. Hang about, what, what, what? hang about. I've paid for everything tonight. The drinks, the food, the moonlit buggy ride, the flowers and chocolates, your dry cleaning and a small motorcycle. Even though I really wanted a big motorcycle. <laughs> oh, you're as bad as the rest, taking advantage of me just because of my enormous fortune. Good evening, everyone. Your lordship. Is this man bothering you? Oh, this fortune of mine is such a burden, I, I don't know how to cope. Your lordship, you know what it's like to be obscenely rich. I was once, dear lady, but I've recently fallen upon hard times. Hence my interest in you. <laughs> Jinx, 
The laird? Interested in me? Yeah, you tantalizing bundle of fun. Let me run my fingers lightly through your purse. Oh! <laughs> oh! Do you have your checkbook handy? I do. Then let me take you away from all this. Manners? <laughs> Pardon me, I was overcome with excitement. <laughs> Come, let us away on an exotic cruise to faraway places. I see you're as excited as I am. <laughs> let us be gone. I always think the West Indies look their best at this time. Oh, it's so romantic. Out here on the deck, in the middle of the night. I want you to look at the moon. Oh, what a sight. Is that the sea of tranquility? No, just a birthmark. <laughs> oh, pull down your silk dressing gown. You'll catch cold. Mrs. Nocty, would you be so kind as to light my cigarette? Oh, by all means. Thank you, Mrs. Nocte. Oh, I do like a man with a long cigarette holder. <laughs> Good evening, Mrs. Nocte. Mr. Dougal. And Mr. Hamish. Do we find you all alone? No, I'm with the laird. Where is he? I'm over Well, I didn't think that three-legged horse would be able to carry all of us, but uh, here we are. Good, good evening, your lordship. Mm, I see you've managed to drag yourself up on deck. Oh, it's just an old waitress costume. Well, <laughs> well in that case, it's cocktails all round. <laughs> <laughs> It's good to be home, but what a cruise that was. Twice round the world, including a stop-off at DFS Carpet Warehouse. Um, <laughs> come in. Mrs. Naughty, whatever's wrong? I've just had the final bill for the cruise, and it's cleaned me out. Every last penny gone. Oh, Mrs. Naughty, that's no surprise. Therefore, gentlemen, I'm... I'm asking if you can please give me back my old job as your cleaner stroke housekeeper. Then it would just be like old times. Oh, yes. I'm sorry the post has already been filled. Goodbye. <laughs> well, it was nice to see Mrs. Nocty again. It was, wasn't it? Yes. Time for tea? Certainly. You rang, sir? Yes. <laughs> tea for two, Laird. And be quick about it. Oh, and Laird. Yes, sir. My old waitress costume really suits you. Thank you, sir. I was wondering about getting a rise. And did you? Sadly, no, sir. <laughs> Will there be anything else? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> You have had your tea. The doings of Hamish and Dougal was written and performed by Barry Cryer and Graham Garden, with Alison Steadman as Mrs. Nocty and Jeremy Hardy as the Laird. Music was arranged by John Garden and performed by Pete Rosser, Kylie Davies, Ross Stephen and Sean Randall. The producer was John Naismith.